Why did you decide to join the Mongol mob? <clears throat> I'll sort of stems back to when I left New Zealand to go to Australia and I ended up in, a, in some trouble over there. And I was lonely over there. I ended up going to prison for three months. And spending time away from my own whānau, from New Zealand and going to Aussie was, I was, there was kind of something that I lost in my life. And that, so when I came back to New Zealand, I actually, this was in the early 70s, 73. Um, a lot of my schoolmates were either in the Black Power or the Mongol mob. And because I was lonely and I'd been to prison and I was, um, the gang at that time was kind of, um, well, it attracted me, so that's why I joined the mob. Well, I was um, um, abused by one of my um, um, family friends and also one of my, um, the, the guy who used to take us out on um, boxing trips, um, used to, um, you know, abuse me, and that sexually abused me, so, um, and I thought that was the norm in, in the day. So that kind of carried on through my gang life and um, until I came to their place with the Lord. And that's so learning about forgiveness and understanding the, um, you know, what it is to forgive somebody was totally foreign to me. The only way I knew how to forgive people was with my fist or with a baseball bat. So um, coming into the Lord helped me heal those areas in my life. The turning point was actually the fact when I thought I was dying of AIDS and because of the, the promiscuous life I lived and um, taking drugs, putting pumping needles into my arms and I couldn't get that thought out of my mind because at that time I was married to my first wife um, and she was pregnant with our second child and I kind of thought, oh well, Maybe I might have passed it on to her, you know, and and that and um, and so I just need I, I what I actually did was go in to the um, Monacau Medical Centre to get a blood test, and the lady says I'll come back in two weeks' time and see if it's positive or negative, and so um, during those two weeks they were one of the most longest weeks in my life. Well, I thought, well, if I die seek out to the mighty bulldog in the sky because I didn't know God then at the time and I was happy to die in, in a Mongol mob mindset I, I didn't know any different you know? but something somehow during that two week the last night before I was going to get the test result um, my waidu and my spirit was saying go and see my sister now this sister she was she used to visit me in prison um, for many years you know just come in there and um, bring me food and money when I needed it to do hobbies. But anyway, and she used to sometimes minister to, you know, Jesus to me too. Sometimes I used to, you know, I used to tell her, oh, put that crap away, you know. But anyway, I finally, when I thought I had AIDS, I had to go and, I, I wanted to go and tell her. And it was early hours in the morning, I um, drove my car over, over to her place in West. And I knocked on her door and I said to her, Sis, I think I'm dying of age. Um, can you uh, prepare my funeral? Because I was even preparing my funeral. I was pretty well selfish. And I said to her, oh, I'll put a red rose on my um, suit and put my patch on me. And um, But just out of the blue, she says to me, um, you know what, my bro? There's only one physician, one healer that can heal you. And I said, well, who's that? Well, there you are. She said, there's only one physician, and his name is called Jesus, now, you know. And um, I said, well, what do I do? Where do I go and see him? You know, where's his clinic? And that, and she said, his clinic is right here. And I said, what do you mean he's right here? And what I know now as a, as a born-again Christian is the prayer of salvation. And that was when I came to that part of dear Lord come into my heart, it felt like a ton of bricks lifting off me. And um, by then it was, um, the morning came about, I ran around the block, I literally ran around the block, 
you know, I was just praising this God for the first time. And um, the birds sounded beautiful, the sky looked nice and blue. And that was my first encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. 